First, we're going to start by adding our angle braces that are in the left, bottom left bay. For this, we need to set up some construction lines. When we are adding our vertical braces, our work points are going to be at the half nominal depth of our beams, and then the center lines are going to be to the center of the columns. So we need to set up a construction line at that half nominal depth, which of an 18 inch beam is going to be 9 inches down. For this, let's do construction line add. And then for our snap, we need to make sure we select base member line. Then we can select the W18 by 40 and go down nine inches. So I can either type in nine here and go add minus or negative nine and enter either way. Go ahead and hit the exit button. And then I can switch to my different snap and I'm going to use the intersection of construction line to add in some more points. So I'll go intersection of construction line. We're going to go from this intersection where that 9 inches down is at A down to B and our base plate or our AB plan. So for this I'm going to select my other snap to be my intersection of construction line so that way we don't happen to grab the wrong point. So I'll zoom in and select that. And then we're going to do the same going the opposite direction to create the X. So I'll go from this point down. And I can zoom in to confirm that went to the correct location. Next, we could go in and add in our next one. And I'm going to change to my base construction line. And for this one, I'm just going to go off of this construction line at B. And I'm going to go over 12 foot 6 hit add. We could go in and add in construction lines at an angle, but because these are just intersecting at that point, we don't need that. Hit exit and then the same off of grid line C. Go 12.6 or 12 foot 6 and add. Now we do also need to add one from there 6 foot over. So I'll select that construction line again and just go 6 foot 0. And then we'll go ahead and add in our last one from our roof framing plan down 9 inches. So again, I'll go negative 9 and hit enter. And now we have all of our construction lines in here. When we are adding our angle braces, so like our cross bracing down in that lo lower left hand bay, these are going to be three separate vertical braces. Let's go to our members page. And then inside of here, we're going to select vertical brace. I'm going to start by setting our section size. So in this case, it's an L 6 by 4 by 3 8. And then we can specify the side of gusset, whether that's near side or far side. And we should have our long leg if that's outstanding or to the gusset. We have double material, which in this case we will use because it does say 2L6 by 4 by 3 8. And then inside of here, we can now see our configuration. So if I drop that down, we have an option for back to back. We have a star configuration. We have far side, or we have configuration near side. We have the option to specify the angle leg. Do we want that turned up or down? And then we can go in and specify our left end connection, the right end connection, and then snap in the elevations as well as the infinite add, or we can have it open up that member edit. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select from our intersection of construction line here down. And then we'll go from this intersection and we can't go all the way through otherwise those members will clash. So for this we need to just select our next point here at the intersection and then from this point up. Next we can change our section size so we can go W8 by 31 and then inside of here we do have our web orientation. Do we want that web vertical or web horizontal? I'm just going to leave mine set at vertical. And then again, the, the connections. 
but in this case I don't need to change anything so I'm just gonna go from the bottom to that 12 foot 6 and then from the 12 foot 6 down to the bottom again as you can see it created that connection and then we're gonna go with the HSS 6 by 4 by quarter for this I will type in HSS 6 by 4 by 1 quarter we're gonna go from C and our AB plan to our upper point here at that 9 inch down and then we'll go from that 9 inch down point to the bottom of our base plate again we can see it created that combined plate next we'll take a look at our WT 4 by 9 so next we'll type in our WT 7 by 11 so we'll type in our section size WT 7 by 11 and as soon as I tab out we can see we now have our side of gusset if it's near side or far side and then our stem ori orientation if we take a look it does call that out is stem down so we'll drop that down and we'll go vertical and once I tab out of that we can now see this update stem direction we have down or up in this case it is called out stem down so we're just going to go ahead and add in our points here. So we'll select from the bottom at that 9 inches down. So even though this is framing to the top of a beam, we still go down that 9 inches. And then we go to that 9 inches down at the top here and at the center line of the column. Now, I did not have you add in the last 6 foot construction line. So we can do this one of two ways. We can either cancel out of the command or what I'm going to have you do is we're going to add in a different way. So let's first set our section size. So WT 4 by 9. Our stem orientation is not down or up. So we're going to assume that's horizontal. And then we can select our first point here. And then for our second point, what we're going to do is we're going to use our XYZ offsets here at the top and for our Z I'm going to go negative 6 foot 0 and we can see that's from the top of our roof framing plan so in this case I just need to make sure I select the correct construction lines and we can see even though I'm hovering here we can see the actual point locator is down here 6 foot so I'll go ahead and locate that we can see it's added that in there now before I end this command we want to make sure we clear out our XYZ offsets otherwise that will be remembered for our next command we can go ahead and right click and end our command there next we're gonna take a look at our bracing on grid line D so let's go ahead and open grid line D by going to our layout tab hit open view and then we're gonna double click on grid line D or single select and say OK looking at the brace line D we can see from 3 to 2.1 is where we we will be adding these pipes for our vertical braces now this view is starting to get crowded or overlooked with some different text and stuff maybe I want to clean this up a little bit at this point what I'm gonna do is let's go to our display and then inside of the display section we're gonna go into our display options and we can turn off things in here such as our construction lines maybe we didn't want to see any of those we have the option to turn off construction circles our different grid lines if we want to show the grid bubbles we can scale the grid bubbles do we want to show the center of the curved grids do we want to show exploded positions show all grid intersections we have the option to turn off members, member lines, piece marks. So maybe I don't want to see my piece marks. We have the option to turn off member numbers. Maybe I don't want to see those. And then our member section size. I'm also going to turn that off. We can turn off an ABM ID. We have the option to turn on or off our member end elevations, our camber annotation, our member custom properties. 
member orientation indicators, moment symbols, member ends always displayed, or shear tabs, we can display the solids as edged, we can show the joist outline and the stair outline, we can specify our text scale or actual scale of our view, which will affect how our details come out. We can show holes, bolts, welds, voids, layouts, rebar, cover surfaces, cranes, crane placements, notes, drawing overlay, terrain, rulers, scroll bars, model dimensions, tile decorations. Once we have these all set, let's say OK. And now we can see that is much cleaner. So let's so go ahead and set up some construction lines. For this, we'll go back to our layout tab. Go back to our layout page. We're going to go ahead and select construction line add. And it remembered our base construction line. So we can go from our grid line roof framing plan. We can go down nine inches so I can hit add as that was remembered. Go and hit exit. And then from second floor, I can go negative seven. Hit add. We got those construction lines in here. And now we can also see it is going from that nine inches down to the bottom of our base plate at 2.1. So we're gonna use our intersection of construction lines to select that first point and then down to 2.1 and our AB plan. Now that we have this in here, we can go ahead and add in our vertical braces. So we'll go to our members section. We'll go to our vertical brace add. We're gonna set this as pipe five standard. And then we're gonna go from this intersection at three and our roof framing plan down nine inches to the intersection of that seven inches down from our second floor. And then we'll just go from that same point down to the bottom of our base plate in the center of the column at 2.1. We can go ahead and escape or right click and turn those to solid. And we can see that we have our members in here now.